Take four. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Phoenix Tremaine, and I'd like to welcome you to Soap Fam. Today, we're going to be talking about Young and Restless, all of the different storyline updates they're doing. They're changing some stuff. They're shaking up some couples, and I'm going to be talking about all of it. Some of it comes directly from the show, and some of it comes directly from the actors. Now, first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. Um, we're at 23.3 thousand subscribers, so we're, you know, only a week in, and we've, like, got a third of the subscribers we need to get on up there to that 24K. So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Um, also, we now have memberships. So if you want to become a member, you can see exclusive videos. Like, um, you can see videos first. So um, a lot of the Soap Fan members have seen a lot of the Soap Spoilers, like, a week ago, that being released today. So if you want to see exclusive um, videos, have well, actually they call it early access to videos, then this is a uh, become a member. And then I have also member only videos because you can't say certain things on YouTube, but once you have a membership, you know, you, you're a little more free to speak openly about things. And I definitely um, have been opening up and letting you guys in on behind the scenes so if you want to know some of the things that's really going on yeah become a member if you want the real tea because I'm calling it um, real talk and I've given some real talk about how Soap Famous was actually created like the real way not what someone else said now <laughs> back to Young and the Restless so YouTube has also made me eligible for um, a store so click on that uh, in my channel there's like a tab that you can click on that takes you to the Soap Fam store, or you can go in the description box and follow the link that will also take you to the store so you can see the Soap Fam merch. Hope you like it. I designed it myself. And um, now we're going to get into these Young and the spoilers because um, I know that's what you came from, came for. So, surprising secrets revealed will lead to unexpected actions and consequences for Amanda, Devon, Elena, and Nate. An upcoming storyline will put Kyle's love to the test, push Summer back to her former bad behavior, reveal a new side to Theo, and give Lola a new outlook on life and love. New clues about Dina and John's past will have Tracy and Jack searching for a long lost memento emblematic of the love they shared, which will bring Dina peace and joy. Ashley will also play a role in the quest. Sharon maintains her strength even as she faces a major setback. Adam's struggle with the past will cause fallout for him, Victor and Chelsea. The hatred between Adam and, Bill and Billy will reignite and the ensuing battle will affect them both as well as Victoria. Phyllis will go to extremes to deal with the threat of Abby's hotel. So that's like the, the network version of what's going on. But there were some interviews that went deeper into the stories that are coming for Young and Restless. So Melissa Claire Egan, who plays Chelsea, um, started hinting that what's coming up for her on-again, off-again love with Adam. And last time we saw them, Adam discovered he was one who, who um, ended A.J. Montalvo. And she says, Adam's basically having an emotional breakdown because he was just told that he killed someone when he was a young boy so that's obviously a lot to take in and at first he doesn't remember so Chelsea is trying to be supportive and be there for him and try to convince him that he's not a monster but obviously that's a really hard thing to do and then she gave us this tidbit you know Adam trouble might lead him to linking back up on a professional level with his ex Sharon, um, I mean Sharon Case, uh, who plays Sharon, and Adam will soon find out about Sharon's cancer. They noted that uh, Adam never knew she had cancer. So mentally and emotionally, he's he's spent and he's trying to remember these things from his childhood that he doesn't remember. So he needs therapy. And who's the therapist in town? Sharon, because you know. On soap operas, there's only one person that occupies an occupation. If somebody's a therapist, everybody in town is going to go see that one therapist. Um, and the of all people. So that's going to be a bit of an issue with Chelsea. And it's really fun. 
because, you know, Adam's going to find out about Chelsea's cancer, and that's going to make him more concerned with, with her, and they're hinting at a love triangle between Sharon, Chelsea, and Adam, but we've got a question, the big question mark of, where, what does this mean for Ray? If, if Sharon is being pulled back into Adam's orbit. Next up, we have um, Josh Morrow and Michelle Stafford. They also did an interview where um, they were asked uh, asked about their relationship, will it continue, and where it's going. And she says, "I really think more interesting than Phyllis just being jealous of Sharon." which God I played for five years, but I also chose to play that because it was very real when you have an affair. Not that I've ever done it, but I've seen it. When people have affairs and they break up a marriage and then they're together again, the prior wife or the prior husband is always a threat. It's almost like part of a relationship and because of what went down, I always wanted to add that Phyllis was threatened by Sharon. Um, and she notes that the Kirk has evolved, and so it was like, you can't keep playing your Jealous of Sharon. The Kirk is to finally evolve. What I think would be interesting is if Sharon and Phyllis actually had a bond over the cancer storyline. Now, I don't know if that will actually happen, because, because this is, saying, is what Michelle Stanford is saying she was hoping was going to happen. And Joshua Murrow also said that um, he doesn't think that Phyllis and Nick are going to break up. But spoilers and, and, and rumor mill has been saying that they're going to break the pair up. So I don't know if he just toned the line and just wants it to be a surprise. But the word on the curb is they're going to break up. But we'll see if that actually happens and if the rumor mill is right or if Josh was telling the truth. And we also have... Sharon Case, who did an interview um, when she reflected on her scenes with Adam. Yes, right out the gate, that's what the fans are going to be able to see. Sharon and Adam haven't seen each other, and he hasn't learned about her cancer. People are pointing out that um, we haven't been in touch. And she says, as an actress, it was never spelled out why they hadn't been in touch. The actors come up with their own reasons and infuse the material with that. So this is the big thing about Sharon, but she revealed about her storyline, is that they're pretty much kind of pushing pushing out the whole cancer storyline. Because when we come back, Sharon has just had the surgery, a lumpectomy. Finally having the surgery is helping her do well. Her attitude and energy is good. Getting that out of her body is a big step forward. It helps with the healing, even though there's a long road ahead. She had to have the treatment before the surgery. That's got to be a mental setback while you're waiting. It's a huge positive hurdle for her to have had the procedure. A lumpectomy is much more minor surgery, of course. That's been the good news for the character. So, they're saying now the cancer wasn't that bad. She had a lumpectomy, she got rid of it, and now she's going to be better and in good spirits as they move her into the Adam storyline. So, if you were expecting more Sharon, traumatic, you know, going through her cancer storyline, that they botched, um, because she's a good actress, but the writing for her cancer storyline has not been a good one. You know, I've seen actors play really great cancer storylines, this wasn't one of them. It's not her fault. It's 100% the writing. And so they're fixing it by moving forward. And um, sort of just instead of her still going through treatment like she was when the show stopped, they've already done the surgery when the show starts back up. So, you know, she's in recovery mode um, as she starts counseling Adam. Now, this doesn't say this, but I mentioned this before. But um, there's going to be this big surprising secret of um, Ab Amanda's, and it's going to cause her and Nate to break up. So I don't know if Nate has a secret or Amanda has a secret, but there's going to be a secret that breaks them up. And then they're going to put 
Amanda in Devon's orbit. So even though in um, Brighton's interview that he did, he said that he felt like Elena and Devon were on their way to getting married, this new twist of sort of giving the fans what they want. They wanted Michelle Morgan back on the show because they wanted Hillary back. They didn't give us Hillary, they gave us a sister. But the chemistry between Devon and Amanda is really no different than Devon and Hillary, but they've just got to finally do what they should have done last September and jumped on his storyline and got the balls moving, the ball moving. I'm sure Elena and Nate will um, console each other as this is going on. And that is the spoilers. So you fans that wanted Amanda with Devon, you're going to get it. Um, you people that want Amanda with Billy, they're going to be friends. <laughs> and um, Elena and Nate genuinely have good chemistry together. So I'm looking forward to actually seeing them play that out. Another interesting thing in Brighton's interview is that he said that, you know, him and um, Brittany, who plays Elena, are in a relationship for real and they're like really in love and they haven't had to deal with being actors on the same show being separated having to be with other people he said aside from the the kiss he gave michelle when um he was dreaming there hasn't been any love scenes or kisses that could have like made them feel a certain way in their relationship their real life relationship but he said they're both professionals and it's inevitable that Elena will end up having to kiss or be with someone else and the same with him. So it's interesting that they've already began discussing in, that, in their relationship, their real life relationship, how they're going to handle it. So let me know in the comments section what you think about the upcoming storylines for Young and the Restless. Are you excited? Looking forward to it? Or are you disappointed that you won't get a more dramatic cancel line from storyline from Sharon um, do you want are you happy like I was happy that Chelsea Adams is together are you happy that you know he might end up with Sharon after all so it's a lot going on and um, we going to watch because the show comes back Monday and I will be watching and then I'll be watching for the whole social distancing and see how they handle it General Hospital seems to be you know business as usual I don't see a whole lot of social dis except for the scenes with um, Dante, where clearly him and the doctor are six to eight feet apart. Everybody else just sitting side by side, across the table from each other. I'm like, um, didn't you get the memo about the protocols that SAG has? That's the Screen Actors Guild. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and now I'm off to work on my next video which is going to be my general hospital update thanks for watching